So today is plate day. We are going to be welding these plates on my chassis right there. We're going to be doing one here for the motor mount. We're going to be doing one up here on the body. Just like that. These are uh, cutoffs I got from uh, a job site. Seem to be doing me pretty good. So today what we're going to be doing is welding all these plates on here. So I'm going to be welding a 6 inch plate to help hold my bumper on. Sorry guys, I need to focus. 6 inch plate with my bumper to help hold that on. So we're going to make sure that these plates have at least a half an inch gap between them. We're going to be removing this. We're going to be putting axles in and getting brake lines hooked up. You know, today I hopefully is going to be a pretty productive day on this. And then we're going to get some measurements for this. I have a plan that I want to do something with this. Because we're allowed a screen. So I'm going to see if I can get one built. So I'm going to try to cut it out of cardboard today. And then see what we can do from work. But let's, the holes do require, sorry, the plates do require a quarter inch hole in the middle so then that way they can see that it's how thick it is and stuff like that so we'll be drilling some holes in the middle and then going from there so I remember why I got all these plates for free from my job site because they're four inches one way and four and a quarter the other so we just ran it through the bandsaw cleaned off we got the frame cleaned up and we marked six and a half inches from where that front plate comes back because at six and a half inches that's where the bumper plate goes, well, six inches, but then you need a half inch gap. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to C-clamp it to the chassis right about there. Oh, look at that. Can I line up those holes? I can line up those holes. That'd be pretty, uh, nah, I think I'm going to offset it. And we're going to weld that on there. Now we've cleaned up the frame, so then that way it's as clean as possible. We've also cleaned up the sub, because there is one plate that's got to go right about there. But I do want to do the motor mount first, so we will not be welding this plate as of yet. We'll be doing getting the chain link for that so we can get actually. You know what? I'm gonna do this one too. You know, guys, I talk to myself all day. Sorry if I'm all over the place. But uh, yeah, so let's get these two plates welded on, and then we'll be right back. As you guys can see, we cleaned up the edges of the plate all the way around with the wire wheel. We've cleaned up the frame, we've cleaned up the subframe. And how I do that is I just got a wire wheel on my grinder. Um, this welding is going to be a little bit hard because in my drunken stupor this weekend, I had a can of zoodles explode. Now you're going to ask how did I do that? Well, it's, I went camping last weekend and it's probably been 12 years since I went on a good camping, well maybe 10 years, 8 years since I went on an actual camping trip and I threw a can of zoodles in a stove without putting a pressure relief cut in it and the can of zoodles exploded all over me, all over our tents, all over the cars and I got third degree burns so uh, be careful with zoodles guys. But let's get these plates welded on. Oh, a little bit busy of a day. So we got the plates welded on. We got the holes drilled in the center of all the plates. They're still a little warm. We're going to cut this bottom plate off just like we did last year. But last year we cut the top of it off and the bottom of it off. But they kind of gave me a little bit of shit because they thought it was way too big. But I had to tell them it's like four this way, four this way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the bottom off. We're going to leave the top. And uh, I don't really want to leave the top. Maybe once I pass tech then I'll cut it off just to be sure. I'm scared of this hitting this. Or the tire getting caught on there and ripping apart the tire. But the main reason why I want to cut the bottoms off is if I get put on the blocks, that's something to dig into the blocks. Or if I get put onto the tires or on somebody else's hood, it's just somewhere for me to get caught up on. We got all the suspension put back in. We got all the brakes hooked up. We got a lot of stuff done to the front of this thing today. Uh, starting to measure up a couple things here. Uh, we got the radiator guard all kind of templated out. I'm going to go buy some steel and uh, we're going to use our plasma cutter. We just got back there a plasma cutter from a buddy. So we're going to be able to cut all this out with a plasma cutter and go from there. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'd like to put Zach's workshop on it and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, we got a lot more done to this today, guys. Um, pretty happy. The tie rods, I'm trying something a little new. I don't want to give away exactly what I'm doing right now, but the tie rods are a little long, and because of how welded they are, I can't really change them. So it kind of sucks. But whatever. Um, yeah, so we're getting some work done on this. Um, kind of happy, guys. That, you know, I need to get work done on it. 
I really do. Um, but yeah, let's go try to buy some steel on my way to work today and then we'll come back and try to fit it up tomorrow and see how well it fits. Well, what do you guys think? I got a piece of mesh. Rules say expanded steel, so I got expanded steel. We just have some very fancy rusty C-grips. Do you, do you like these rusty pieces of junk? I found them in a car I bought. This one here I owned, but I found this one in the car. That one didn't like doing its job. But what we're gonna do now is, uh, I think we're allowed to bolt it in six places, but I'm gonna bolt this in a couple places and uh, pretty much get it ready for the plates. Now for the plates, I got these cut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap these on here. Oh, I just almost fell. And I'm gonna cap this like this. So last year, my issue I had was is that I didn't put the mesh in before I put the bumper on. And this year here, I kind of cut everything back too much, and now the mesh is too thick. If you take a look, it kind of bows out past the bumper. So we're going to put these spacers to help hold on the mesh, and then what we're going to do from that is, then it'll give us a quarter inch spacer for the bumper, and then we'll pull the bumper on with ratchet straps and come along to the suspension, so that way it's all up on there. This is going to be a big process. Let's get it started. We have this car ready for a bumper. So I found these bumpers online and I ordered one. And it came in today. So let's go see if it will work on the front of this car. Look at the nice pointy bumper we got there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I must have not checked the measurements online. We'll have to go order another one. Okay, let's install this one. This is better, but it's still not right. Ah. This is the last time I'm gonna try this. Let's see if this bumper fits. This one better fit. Yes, we finally have one that fits! My lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, nah, I'm likely. I be taking shots, yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain, uh. Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a f***ing name, I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain, I just wanna be greatness I just wanna be greatness Well, boys and girls, you can see the smoke just coming out of her. She's been sitting here redlining for the last almost hour, producing welds like that. What a little champion you are. Good, good girl. Yes, you are. Oh. So that's another item we can scratch off our list. I did have to kind of pressure it on just because of how hard it is to into this, but we got it on, so now we can scratch the bumper off. I think we're gonna go to the starter next. The reason that we're doing the starter is I just need to move this wire so then that way I can actually reach the positive on the battery. Then we're gonna put some different tires on it. And uh, yeah, all right, so I should put tires on the list. Perfect. Let's do the starter first. We're gonna scratch bumper off, then we're gonna do starter and scratch that off. So we got this thing pushed back all the way in the garage now because we have to get another car in here. But we got the bumper on, we got the nuts welded, we got the brakes fixed, we got V-treads on it. I ran them the right way the first time, I'm gonna try them the backwards way the second time, we're gonna see how this goes. 
Got the rear tires fixed, we got the cage done, we got my numbers on it, we got the gas tank in it, battery still needs to be little things done. Shifter fixed, starter wire fixed. Only thing we got to do now is GoPro, I don't remember what that means. Stepped belt. Temp belt, timing belt, I don't know. Um, the radiator, I do not want to wire it in because I don't want to break it, so I'm gonna let it float. Rear tires are fixed, transmission turn up. We got to put a turn up inside the transmission. Um, 12 bolt, mill bolt back in the steering, did that. Motor mount's done. Uh, the rear sub mount is done because it wasn't in there. Battery and seat, we've moved the seat. The seat's all been set up to hook a, a Milwaukee battery in it, move it. We got the transmission cooler fan hooked up. Super simple, guys. This thing is in great shape for meltdown. I am super excited, nervous. I always feel like I'm underbuilt going to Meltdown, so hopefully it works. Hopefully it does good. This will be the last build video on this. We did do a lot of things off camera, and it's mostly just because I got really upset working on this car this year. Um, I kind of, kind of lost my cool a couple times, and it wasn't cool. Um, I don't think we're going to do very good this year, and uh, the reason why is... The motor's getting tired and the transmission is more tired than the motor. So sadly, I think, I'm going to call it now, I think the transmission is going to give it on me. I might pack an extra motor and transmission so that if I need to, I can rip this one out and put another one in, but uh, we'll see what kind of space I have on the trailer. It'd be nice to be able to do it, but we'll have to see what I can do. Um, but uh, maybe I'll have to buy one there. But uh, we'll have to see. Um, it is ready. It is four days before we have to leave for Meltdown. I'd like to be usually a lot farther than this, but I'm not. And the only person I can blame is myself. Uh, a lot of guys say these economy cars you can build in like two days. You can do that, but uh, I've spent close to two and a half months on this car. I even started it in the fall. Uh, between work and side jobs and everything, that's basically how long it took me to build this car. So, it's always a big headache getting ready for the Derby. And now that I'm actually ready for the Derby, I don't think I'm going to do great. But that's just me second-guessing myself. I think I felt the same way last year. But, uh, hopefully you guys can see me there. I will be at Morris, New York on June 16th, 17th weekend. I will be running the Economy class. I'm in Heat 2. If you guys are around there, please stop in, check us out. Um, just make sure you say hi. We will not be filming the whole entire event. Uh, I believe my buddy Josh is coming down with me, and Steven, and Kevin, who's Josh's dad, and maybe some other buddies, but uh, I believe that there will only be two or three of us running. Uh, we, we will be only filming the heats that we're in. So if you are in, uh, like if, uh, if I make it to, into my heat, which I, I think I'm going to make it into my heat, and then... If I make it to Feature or if I make it to Concy, I'll be filming those ones from the stands and from the in-car, but I will not be filming the vans and the trucks and the, the two-man extreme. Honestly, guys, I go down there to enjoy my weekend. Um, it's a lot. There's, I'll be working on the car so much that I'll miss so many heats, and it's just... I believe it'll be live streamed, so if you want to watch the whole event, I believe uh, Spinning Wheels or... Uh, Derby Tees, or one of them will have it. I'll have to look that up for you, but last time it was live, and uh, I like the multiple different camera angles. It gives you a real sense of the whole thing. So but thanks for watching, guys. I'll be seeing you there. Cheer me on. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. This car here was a massive headache, um, problem after problem. Uh, I am severely disappointed with how rusty it is. I like to take cleaner cars to the U.S., but uh, this is what I had, and this is what I built. So, roll the damn dice. We'll see how well she does. Might come up snake eyes. Might come up uh, lucky number seven. So, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you back here later on Zach's Workshop.